Hey traders, I want to share with you what I'm seeing on the on the silver and gold charts charts, and uh, hopefully you guys can can get a good update on what I'm actually showing you here. So let's get straight into it. Do not place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video today because trading is risky and it can cause substantial financial loss. There are so many areas you need to become good at to become a good trader. Emotional mastery, chart reading, trading systems, money and trade management. So this video is just educational only to help you become a much better trader. Alrighty then, so let's actually get straight into it. Let's actually have a look at the silver and gold prices. Now, silver and gold had a bit of a pullback. Silver a bit more of a pullback than other ones and uh, then, then, then the gold chart, and uh, it's just really interesting to see what's actually going on here uh, in, this, in this chart here. So let's have a look here what actually, what actually, what's actually going on with silver and, uh, silver and gold. This is the silver chart here, and you can see we've actually had a pretty decent run to the high side, and if we create a parallel trend line as well too, you can see how that is also through there as well too. So you can see how this market actually bounced off this level through here, created a higher close and now we're running up and now we're rallying down. Now there's a few things that I see here. Now you can see all where the trend lines are. And if I bring up my my weekly chart, you can see that the overall target for this here, you can see looks like around about that 21 level. Once it breaks past 22, it looks like it's just gonna take off. Is that gonna happen this week? Maybe. Um, should I say this month? Is that going to happen this month? Maybe. So let's have a look at, let's go back to the daily chart now. I just wanted to share with you that point of view. And let me take everything off the screen here. Let me just share with you what I see here that could be forming out of this. And there are a few things that could be forming. One, we could be, we could be in a state of, or in a, in a price action where this market might actually have a bit of a bit more of a pullback down to here, then find a bit of a bit of support and then rally out. That's what that's what that could happen. When we go to the gold chart, you'll see you'll see that that may be a correlation of what the gold may want to do as well too. So maybe today and tomorrow we're going to get a bit of a shakeout, but I don't see I don't I see this bit of a shakeout. If it is a shakeout, a possible another buying opportunity. So that's that's what we're seeing through there. Now, if I take everything off the screen, as you know, let me just let me just go here to, to say six months. And we'll go to three months. Let me just go to the three month view here. And let me actually bring up my trend line drawing tools here. I want to share something with you. So you can see how this these highs through here is where the market had a lot of problems. And we're this is like a bit of a bull flag. Someone mentioned on my Facebook, John, you didn't mention the bull flag. That's a bull flag through there. Okay. So and you can see that if you look at that point, you can see how it rejected it there, rejected it there, and it rejected there and it broke out. Yeah, now it's now it's coming down. Do we have another down day coming where we actually go down and maybe even come down towards this level, maybe even come down to bounce off this level through here, which is still the top of the flag, which is support. Do we have that? That's, 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 what's, yet, that's what's yet to be seen. We did get a nice pullback today. We closed, we closed uh, higher than yesterday's low. That's a bit of a bullish sign. But you can see we basically almost came down and bounced off this top level here of the flag and now we might we might come down. If we come down to here, I am expecting some sort of a bounce around this level here. And even if we come even if we come down through to here, I expect us then to rally out and then to continue the big move up. This is just a resting phase through silver before we have another big move. So markets run up, and this is the time, guys, where you know this is the time where I like to see you know maybe some some big moves happening. So. Um, well, of course I like to see some big moves happening. I'm in silver. <laughs> so, um, so that's what I do see there on silver. So it's really interesting to see what's, hap what's happened today. Um, and if you bring up, say, the SLV prices, guys, let me actually just share this with you. Let me bring up the SLV prices and I'll share this with you. Uh, as you guys know, um, I, bought, I bought SLV call options down here at $15. I'm still in them right now. And I'm not getting out of them. I don't need to get out of them. And if we do get a bit of a pullback or down here, even a even nice good 3 or 4% pullback, there's no need for me. This is a long-term trade. I see this thing up at 40 or 50 by, by the end of this year. So I ain't, I ain't selling anything right now. So 
by looking at what we're looking at here with the SLV, you can see that even this last couple of what, it, what the interesting thing is that I'm looking at here is the last week of action from there to when is that? Probably from there to there. Look at that volume. That volume is solid and solid, and we're even increasing, 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 increasing in volume right where we are right now. So that's that's actually a very bullish sign. So bullish, yes, we're very, very bullish on uh, on, on silver. We, we the market never just goes straight up. Okay, we will get pullbacks, or maybe we won't. And this is the question mark that I have on silver and gold. Will we ever get a big pullback before we just really explode? Because I do see that happening this time, some sometime this year, like really explode, the take off. Maybe it's got you know, uh, like the way that I look at this thing and the way the economy is working, I see silver above fifty. It may not. It may be at five. <laughs> so that's what I'm looking at with silver. So let's go have a look at gold. Let me show you what I see with the gold. Now this is what I see with gold. Let me bring up say a three month view. And I can sh you can see this top of the channel here is something that I've been referencing for quite a little bit of time. That top part there, top that top there. But now we're making a bit of a double top formation, and you can see that how this market's ran up, came down, and ran up again, and now it's actually come down again. And now we're actually creating a bit of a double top formation. So I'm expecting possibly even a bit more downside in gold, maybe a bit more of a pullback, and it may pull back to towards this channel here where we can actually see here. So we, we may get a pullback through here um, in uh, in gold. I, I you know, And personally, guys, I hope we do. I hope we do because maybe it's going to cause a buying opportunity back in silver. So I don't know. But that's what that's what uh, that's what I do see there with with uh, with with um, with gold. And the same thing with this weekly chart, you can see with this weekly chart, it's been in the channel to the high side. So even if we get a bit of a pullback, That'll be fine. Again, we don't know whether we're going to get this pullback or not, do we? Because when we're looking at the charts and we're looking at the analysis, it's like, are we going to explode like we have done in the last couple of times in the in, in times of crisis? Well, we already start to explode, but when we're talking like really explode, yeah, it's pretty pretty interesting. So, around fourteen hundred is 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 death level again, guys. I could be completely wrong with this whole thing, and this thing could be go down towards fifteen hundred. If that's the case. Then obviously I'll be writing that as well too. So by looking at that, let me go back to this chart here, guys. And let me bring up and then let me bring up the uh, GLD, which is obviously the the gold trust. And the thing about GLD that we don't actually have. Let me delete that. The thing about the GLD that we don't have with um, with the SLV is the major spikes in volume. But we do actually, we can see we have good, good average, good above average volume as this market's moved up. But is this is this market due for a bit of a pullback before we stair step up? As you can see through here, right? Is that is is that is that what's going to happen? So that's the, that's the, obviously the, the big question that's going to happen. And again, guys, the hard thing about trading silver and gold right now, even though technically I can read the charts really well sometimes sometimes like silver and gold they just won't pull back if they do pull back they won't pull back a lot and so that's the question that's gonna it's gonna ask so looking at gold right now guys looks like overall with gold it looks like any technically anyway that we may even have a bit more downside to come maybe tonight or maybe we don't maybe we just hold here because we are at a bit of a short term short term support level here through as well so you can see this 1350 level let me just bring up the arrow here that point there that point there that point there you can see this whole level has been a good support level so do we just hold this sort of level and rally out or do we break down and then maybe rally out so that's yet to be seen but we did we did respect that level last night and we rallied up and this is where we are or this is where we are right now as in the live prices so let's see what happens remember success can be yours if you go claim it so step up take massive action and face your fears today i'm not going to bs you here trading is hard over my 10 years of trading i've learned some amazing systems and strategies and i've put it all in my brand new grab the markets by the balls course and i'm giving you 100 percent free access this whole course is 12 videos long and almost 10 hours of the best systems and strategies that I know. Click on the image below now to get 100% free access right now.